Hello, students. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to our English class today. So, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Evening. Fine. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi. teacher. Hello, you? Oh, pretty good. Thanks for asking. You know, very awesome. It's actually a great time and ready to start our English class. And also uh, encourage because it's, it's something valuable, you know, having a good time and also ready to practice English. That's what I love to do. And I know that you will be part of this. So did you have a dinner? <laughs> no? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Awesome. That's awesome. All right. So that is great because, you know, imagine that you, you are hungry. You won't be concentrated, <laughs> but that's that's valuable. So um, <laughs> let's start today. And also just, well, thinking about our English classes that always we have the opportunity to like have a short backup of the topics that we study every day. And, um, and this is something important, something valuable what we do. And before that we'll start with the rest of the class, I just want to know what did we study? Remember, what, do you remember what we studied? Uh, can you remember me that? Equals with models. Models. Okay. Something else? The importance of the infinitives. Yes. Okay. All right. So that's definitely important. Well, let's continue working with the following activities. And always that we have been discussing about the ways we can, you know, accept or refuse a request. And also we will continue working with that today and that's something that we were going to study. And we will continue talking today about infinitive complements. So it's gonna be one of the topics that we will um, socialize today here in the class. And let's see here, infinitive complements, it will be the topic and always we think about the way the, how we can uh, manage, for example, a conversation and we um, provide a possible answer, a request, and the way that we can answer that. One second. Can you see it? Can you see it on, on the screen? Yes? Yes. Okay, perfect. So we can go on with the next slide. All right, so look at this one. We have a, a word powered. And we were talking yesterday also about technology. We read a short article describing a little bit about technology, if you remember. And we were saying that there were some inventions that were created from some years ago. And most of you said, you know, which uh, inventions were the most valuable nowadays in which were not so important or at least less important in comparison to others. And um, that's what we were discussing in the yesterday's class too. So look at this one. In world of computers, look at this example here. What are the three uses for computers at home, at school, in a factory, um, in a restaurant? Completely short, then add two more uses for each place. So there are different uses about computers. If I can ask you, you will have a lot of reasons and a lot of things that we use computers. Could be a laptop, could be a, a computer. And uh, now you, you know that the computers are updated. We also have some words here, some phrases like communicate with people, keep the attendance, pay household bills, process credit cards, create the menu, make budgets, pay the workers, research papers, create work schedules, make report cards, place orders and run the machines. 
I want you to select, for example, these things in the categories at home, at school, in a factory, in a restaurant. So this is what you had to do. After you, you match the, the phrases with the categories, we had to add two more uses for each place. Personal opinion. Teacher, I consider that another use that we can give um, to the computers is this. And you can add that part. So think about it. I'm just going to give you um, a couple of minutes to, you know, match these ones. And I will give you some like participations in, in order that you can explain your point of view or you can summarize what you have done or any comments that you would like to, to make right here in this class today. Remember, if you have questions or doubt, you got a freedom to ask questions and I will be more than glad to help you with this. Um, it's that clear? Está claro? Yes, teacher. Okay, nice. Entonces, yes. les voy a dar un tiempito y luego socializamos cuáles tienen, which ones you have. Let's go. Keep the attendance. Keep the attendance. Pay how oh. shall be You can you can actually take a time to, to do it and after that we will socialize. So first um take notes. If you want to take notes, you could do it. And after that we will uh socialize together. Mm, keep attendance. 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 Teacher, I have a question. Um, yes, how can I help you? What does make budgets mean? Uh, make budgets. Uh, makes budgets is, for example, uh, monthly or weekly, you have an amount of money. For example, you have uh, $400. You say, my $400 will be for two weeks. I need to know the money that I will spend. So for that reason, I will make a budget to make sure that I'm using the money correctly, that I'm buying what it's necessary and what is not. That's what we call a budget. It's the amount of money used in a period of time. That's what we that's what we talk about. In in Spanish, the the, the correct meaning will be like uh, presupuesto. Thank you. All right.
Okay, so we know that there are different, um, some other uses in that case. Um, one example that could be a create a menu, so you can use the computer to create a menu. And um, th there are some other jobs or activities that people develop through a computer. It's like having a notebook, but in that case, they also can create some other things with the programs that we have in the computers and uh, different things that we can use. So we can take advantage a lot about that. After we socialized um, all the answers that we have together, we will compare the list with the classmates. So we will create the breakup rooms and we will talk a little bit about our list. You will give jury points, the possible um, ideas you have about it, and also you compare. You can see the example, some part B here is like, at home, people use computers to pay household bills. Yeah, that's right. I know that nowadays it's easier. So you don't have to go to the bank. You don't have to go to an institution because you can pay from home. You got a computer, you, you know, look for the programs, the applications, and you can do that from home, very relaxed and comfortable. My mother uses ORF, ORST for making budgets. Of course, that could help. And I use mine to communicate with people on the internet, for example. This is like very common that people can communicate with others online. They can do that and that is not a problem. Okay, um, how are you going? Almost ready? Yes, teacher. Excellent. So we will work in some groups and I want you to take a short time to um, socialize in a briefly way what's your list, okay? And also if you had two more in which are those. So let's open the breaker rooms. And we have a great number here of students. So congratulations to all of you who are here connected. I know it's not easy. It's a huge sacrifice and I know that it's worth it. That's the most valuable thing that we can discuss about it. Okay, uh, let's get ready with this one. Okay, I will click here. Teacher. Hello? What is the meaning budget? Uh, the budget is the amount of money you have uh, for a specific purpose. The budget can tell us the amount of money that you receive, the amount of money that you spend. That's what we call budget. If you have okay. $200 uh, as a budget, you, you need to make sure how much money will you spend. Lo que se gasta, como, como gastar. Supuesto. Yeah, that's what we said in Spanish. In Spanish is like presupuesto. To make a plan, a plan with your money. You make a plan with your money about incomes, outcomes, how much will you spend, how much will you save? So that's uh, something that people make, right? Okay, so let's open the rooms, yeah. Let's go. I use the uh, maybe I use the computer, but 
for to prepare work report uh, or for to investigate a specific topic. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. In my case, I use the computer, the computer uh, to pay household bills, um, receive the English class, yes. um, uh, process, cre process credit card, um, research papers. That's it. Okay, in my case, uh, I use the computer for uh, many different kind of files uh, to carry a different kind of statics. Um, well, uh, receive my English class online. Uh, um, create different kind of uh, instrument that uh, I need for my job. Yes. Thank you, Daisy. In my case, I use the computer to do my homework, take uh, my classes, watch videos, listen to music, play online games. Oh. Only. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Or, <laughs> or sometimes I use the computer for 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 como decir para para jugar. Play games. Play play games. Play play, play games. games. Uh -huh, games. Yes. Or or. or don't see that it will watch the video game too. Okay. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. This is uh, at home people will computer to buy house. Uh -huh. I don't know. What else? <laughs> it is. In, in my house, in my house, I use the computer, but, but uh, yeah, I work is it's shorter for my mm -hmm. uh, for my daughter. Activities are in the casa. Okay, you had the control, cameras yeah. control. Yeah. <laughs> control camera in the computer. Yes. Mm -hmm. For my house in. in... <laughs> but I, I had a, a partner that uh, he has that kind of control too. In my case, I uh, at home I use the computer for watch uh, videos. Um, or sometimes uh, read uh, uh, books. Uh, um, online. Yeah, books online. Or sometimes I I prefer that hear that uh, <laughs> kind of books. <laughs> I only look the story and I try to. Uh, Uy. <laughs> Uy, me asustaron. Okay, Bye. the second, yeah. the second the hora de school. Um, uh, yeah. Richard, Richard Purper, trabajo de investigación. Richard Purper. Richard Purper. Mm -hmm. The second Actually, sería at the school. At, at the school student. No, o sea, sería the teachers, uses. The teachers. Sí. Ajá. Uh -huh. Use. Eh, ok. ¿Cuál sería? You mean the Reci teacher plural, ¿no? Plural. ¿Eh? Plural. Sí. The teacher at. The teacher what? Uses. uses. The teacher use. Use, 
for research paper. Research paper. Yes. The research paper. Okay. The three. Um, yeah, you can Por ejemplo, podría decir lo de mí. Ah, create the work. Create. Uh, ah, no. Excuse me, excuse me. Wow. Tener el tweet. Sería keep the assistance. Ah, oh, sí, ya. Yeah. Keep the assistance. Sí. Keep the attendance. Ah. Yeah, keep the attendance. Sería the teacher. Sí, so teacher, o en este caso podríamos decir Noemi. The what? Noemi. Ajá. Uh -huh. O sea, en vez del Aida. Eh, the name, eh, 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 en vez no, de the teacher. Hers, hers, hers. Computer. No, excuse, excuse me. Uh, yeah, yeah, de, yeah. De, de Noemí. O ¿Sí? de, o... Correcto, usando tercera persona. Or a student. Oh, los estudiantes. The student. The student. The student. Okay. Use computer, ah, bueno, pero ya sabemos que es la computadora. No, use computer eh, to communicate. May report card podría on ser. The internet. The computer for. For. Use for. For kit. For kit. Me, ¿Te o, o eso. Por kit de atenders. Por kit de Por kit Okay, in a factory. Run the run the buy uh, the, the product the products that they need online sometimes. Ah uh, yes, yes. In the in the restaurant or oh, oh. uh-huh. Yes. yes. Los insumos, ¿cómo se llama? ¿Cómo se dirá eso? Hola. Research. Uh -huh. The resource that they uh, use it to do the all uh, supplies, mills, <laughs> supplies, supplies. Okay. Mm -hmm. Apply. Mm -hmm. okay. What else? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like what I use. Oh, I, I remember uh, one more. <laughs> Yes. They they they, uh, they put they put in, in the restaurant they uh, uh, play song uh, through the computer sometimes too. Plays. Okay, all right. So I think most of us were right here. So congratulations to all of you because of the work done, I could visit some rooms and I could listen to all of you speaking in English. Sounds very awesome because you are definitely trying to speak in English and that's very valuable. 
I could listen many of your ideas, uh, especially about in some some important points in this. So congratulations. I really like listening to you speaking in English. And that's one of the things. And we won't socialize this part because I could listen most of you in your groups and giving valuable details about this. So, but I'm very, very uh, pleased to know that you, you are practicing in the, in the groups and that's we have to do, no Spanish this time, at least this level. And you can help each other, especially when you don't know a word. You also can, for example, if you don't know a word, you can chat. A teacher in the chat, I don't know what's the meaning about this word and I will be more than glad to help you. But at the same time, some of your uh, classmates have been you know, helping each other, you are supporting with vocabulary and that is great. You can use the dictionary or also some resources that can help you to uh, practice and communicate actively. So this is what we had to do guys, try to uh, express, you know, ideas and thoughts in part of the, the structures. I'm sorry. Any comments or equations or something I don't know, do you have equation? No, no questions? Hello? No. Yes, teacher. No, teacher. In my case, okay. it's... no, teacher. Okay. In my case, it's... yes, teacher. Tell me. Is everything clear like the Azaguate? Nah. <laughs> it's a, it's a... A... Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> In right. my case, I have a question. What is the mean research papers? research paper uh, that was on the list right let me see let me uh, help you with examples here one second uh that was this one research papers for example this is related to uh, when you have some files you have letters recommendation information in, in some words some things you have it in your computer and then you say, I need the, I need this information. And you start looking the information in your computer. So that's research papers. You have some information that you have in your computer for different reasons. Is we can, we need can re find this, this document. It's general information you, you have in your computer. For example, I, I have a recommendation letter and then I make a recommendation letter and I have it in my computer. So for example, when uh, in, that, in that situation, I said, wait, I need a recommendation letter. Oh, I have one in my computer. So you have a research paper, information that you have that is very valuable. Okay, I understand. Thank yeah, you. Valuable and important information. That's why you can do that, like theses, some general, you know, valuable details about something, you can have that. All right, look at the next one. Um, how do you think these people use computers in their work? Sandy, uh, okay, I need a volunteer for helping me to read the three uh, pictures. Who wants to help me to read? Me, teacher, Katia. Excellent, Katia, you can start, thank you. Okay, the the paperwork or the feature? All. Yeah, <laughs> the information that is okay. down, down the picture. Okay. Feature. How do you think that people use computers in their work? Make two guesses. Sandy Watson is a police officer. She anal analyzes crime patterns. Alex Hunt is a psychotherapist. He helps people change their beha behaviors. Behaviors, I, I, I don't remember. Janet Brown is a professor. She teacher at a medical school. Thank you so much. So how do you think they can use- um, Your work? Oh, how do you think guys? these people use computers in their work. Imagine. Uh, Sandy, in, the, in this case, Sandy Watson. Yeah. 
for um, search paper about the different case. And uh, Janet Brown, she she need the computer for a making um, class. Yes. Okay, thanks. And who else? Somebody raised her hand, I guess. Sure. Yes, yes, I'm listening. Sandy Watson uh, uses the computer to make reports. Yeah. Oh, Jenny, uh, so Jenny Santillana. Uh, Janet Brown uh, maybe use the computer by creating work shooters for the, her, or her students. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Sandy, what uh, research uh, papers about the the person of investigate. Okay, the, the person that is investigating. Okay, cool. That's that's great. Thank you. Uh, someone else? Uh, I think Alice Hong can use the computer for say the information about the passion uh, for all the medicine that he give them. And, or say all the report for all the passion that he has, he has, he has. He has, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. so like profiles, like a personal profile yeah. for every, every, we say patient, right? Cool. Yes. And Janet? Yes, uh, yes, I'm listening, yeah. Janet Brown um, uses the computer to test his students mm -hmm. and take uh, attendance. Okay, thank you. All right, we finished with Boris. Hi, Boris. Uh, good evening. Uh, well, I think that Sandy Watson uh, can use the computer to compare pictures, evidence, um, Alex Hans uh, asked hey, my partner to say the information about the, the clients. Uh, um, Janet Brown uh, to prepare his class, maybe. Okay. Thank you. That's great. So definitely there are different uses. I mean, we can have uh, some computers and also depending what we do, depending the kind of job that we are developing, um, remember that these, you know, there are different uses. So that's one of the best technologies that we have nowadays. And computers with the time have changed a lot. So definitely that is a great experience, you know, having um, computers, right? So we really need them to, to do different tasks and different activities. So that is, very, very recommendable. Okay, let's continue with the next activity. Let me share with you my screen. And we have the next one. This one, look at this, look what it says. The infinitive complement. This is one of the topics that I just want you to see. Look at this. Don't forget to turn it on, right? Using a phrasal verb. Remember to press the send button, make sure to recharge the batteries. Try now to drop it. Be sure to pay the phone bill every month. That's what we call infinitive compliments. Why they are called infinitive compliments? Because it's a phrase made of a verb and to explain something. Oh, do this one. Please uh, make sure to do this one. Try to do this one. Apply this one. It's like a recommendation. The infinitive complements is summarized as a recommendation. For example, 
you have a new a new lamp and you say you know what happened with this lamp after you charge it don't forget to turn it on okay it's a recommendation and it's infinity because it's in present that's why it says be sure to pay the phone bills every month asegúrate de pagar el recibo cada mes right so it's a recommendation entonces vemos ahí que está en bold the color bold don't forget to remember to make sure to try now to and be sure to it's one of the examples look at these pieces of advice advice in these cases could be plural and singular but we don't add est um, look at these pieces of advice which ones refer to a microwave oven entonces vamos a ver las piezas estos consejos que están ahí y cuál de los que están ahí se refiere a un microondas por ejemplo you have an m a hair dryer that is an H represented by an H, a laptop computer that is represented by an L. More than one answer is possible, like the ones that we have done before. Uh, then think of another piece of advice for each thing. That's what we had to do. Look at examples. Unplug it after you use it. Save your work often. Recharge the batteries often. Keep it away from water. Don't spill drinks on it. Don't put metal in it. Don't heat closed containers in it. Don't expose it to extreme heat or cold. So that's what we had to do. We are gonna try to match and identify the piece of advice with the objects that we have right there. Okay, and also we have some examples here through some pictures. Okay, um, are you ready? Yes, sir. Yes. I saw, I saw, uh, I see, one more uh, or one features about this statement uh, that this statement don't have a uh, subject and the example yeah the example of course because it's, it's, it's just like a recommendation so it's not necessary to to have a subject it's a specifically a recommendation don't do this one try make sure try now to because it's not a priority um, it's not an, an, an statement that represents an action it's an statement that represents a suggestion good point that is a good observation here that's why we we, we can call them imperatives because it's a it's a an order a recommendation etc okay complete it meanwhile you work on this i will check the attendant list so i will stop sharing here to go straight to the attendant list so just give me right now one second meanwhile i check the attendant list okay um you listen to your name and you say present please hey, alejandro jose quintanilla present teacher thank you hey, ana filomena mendoza present teacher do you Andrea, hear me, teacher? I yes. have, I have. Okay. Yes. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, don't worry. Um, Andrea Geraldina Sanchez. Present, teacher. Okay. Uh, Andrea Michelle Garcia. Present, teacher. Uh, Blanca Marisol Vargas. Present, teacher. Uh, Boris Martin Salinas. Present, teacher. Thank you. Brian Isaac Escamilla Hernández. Present. Eh, Carlos José Asensio Martínez. Present teacher. Ok. Eh, Denise Isaías Gómez Rodas. Present. Thank you. Daisy Carolina Rodríguez Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Dina Elizabeth Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Elba Carolina Vázquez Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Erika Maidel Antonio Flores. Present. Thank you. Francisco Alberto Lemus Guzmán. Francisco Alberto. Teacher, él había puesto en el, en el chat de WhatsApp que, que fue a sacar a la mamá del hospital porque mm -hmm. la mamá está en el hospital y le dieron el alta. I saw that. I saw that. Thank you. Yeah. Eh, mm -hmm. Iris Regina Hernández Cuella. Is here, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jaime Orlando Escalante Membreño. Present, teacher. Uh, Jenny Elizabeth Santiana. 
present, teacher. Thank you, Jessica Janet Sanchez Val Valencia. Jessica, se encuentra por acá? She's not here. Teacher have, has a, a many many messages in the chat, and Jessie no puede asistir. Say no yeah. puede asistir. And also there was a message. Yeah, there was a message that I will explain at the end. And thank you. So that's uh, just remember if not here, I will we'll check that later. Thank you. So uh, let's see. One second. Uh, next one, Katia Graciela Juan. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Maria Lucila Soto. Present. Uh, Maritza Isabel, Isabel Mendez. Present teacher. Uh, Nadia Isolina Rodriguez. Present teacher. Uh, Noemí Alicia Estrada. Present teacher. Eh, Oscar Armando Cruz Hernández. Present teacher. Eh, Present Ricardo teacher. de Jesús. Yes. Eh, Ramírez Silva. Present teacher. Thank you. Next. En, uh, Sara Naida Guzmán. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Vidal Evelio Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Wendy Abigail Rivera de Escamilla. Present teacher. Eh, Wilfredo Mendoza Ramos. Wilfredo. Okay, let's continue, guys. Well, um, there was a, I don't know if you could check here. One thing, one second. One second. One second, one second. Ok, eh, quiero que verifiquen en el, en el chat la indicación que pusieron acerca de los permisos. Sí me gustaría que lo revisen, ya que es algo que, que viene directamente de Insafor. Entonces, eh, pues es algo que ellos siempre han tenido... En, en todos los grupos. Esto es algo que siempre ellos lo toman en cuenta. Entonces, quiero que lo verifiquen y vean esa información que, que comparten acerca de los permisos. Pues ahí no, no se puede hacer nada más que seguir la indicación que ellos dan. Bien, vamos a continuar con el siguiente punto. You know, that is the first one. Um, unplug it after you use it. Which one could be? Yes. Okay. A hair 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 machine. Mm -hmm. A hair hair machine, right? What else? Mm -hmm. Microwave. Mm -hmm. We could summarize like electronic devices, right? So we can conclude as electronic devices. What about the number two? Computer. Laptop computer. Laptop computer. Yes, correct, correct. Okay, number three. Laptop computer. Laptop computer. Laptop. Perfect, perfect. Okay. And uh, number four. Microwave. Microwave. Uh, Microwave. Uh, laptop computer. High drive. High drive. Okay. All right. Yes. Number five. Don't spill drinks on it. Oh, so a microwave oven. Microwave. 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 Okay. Microwave. 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 And the last one, don't expose it to extreme heat or cold. Laptop computer. Laptop computer. And the hybrid. Yeah. 
So that could be, you know, especially technology. That's correct. Okay, look at this conversation. We have a short time to socialize this one. Listen and practice. We have a conversation between Jennifer and Richard. It says, I read instructions, but I'm still not sure how to use my solar phone. Actually, it's pretty easy. First of all, don't forget to turn it on. Got it. Then dial the number and remember to press the send button. That's all? Pretty much. Just make sure to recharge the batteries every few weeks and try not to drop it. It's fragile. Good advice. And one more thing, be sure to pay the phone bill every month. So perhaps this conversation is related to someone who's like getting some, experiencing some difficulties to use the phone for some specific purposes. That's why you can see that Jennifer, it's like trying to encourage him to read instructions in order to, you know, to use it. And what we had to do is that we're gonna take a short time to socialize the, some questions like these ones. What do you do when you don't know how to use an electronic device? Do you check the instructions? Do you request somebody to help you with? Uh, do you try to do it by yourself as an experiment? So you give given a reasons about that. How many advantages can you think of owning a cellular phone? I have a cell phone. And what are the advantages that I have with the phone? ¿Qué beneficios tengo con tener un celular? So you can discuss about it. And the next one, have you had an, an experience that you didn't know how to use something? This is the next one, right? ¿Ha tenido alguna experiencia que, pues, que no sabía que has, cómo usar algo? Por ejemplo, tiene una washing machine, de repente tiene una lavadora y, y ¿cómo hago? No la puedo usar. ¿Qué, y entonces, ¿y se arruina? I don't know. ¿Ya ha tenido una experiencia? Puede contarla también en el grupo. Entonces, Estas tres preguntas las vamos a socializar en el grupo, como el ejemplo que tenemos acá de Jennifer. <coughs> so I know that most of us, we have some experiences with that one. Especially some people have some problems to how to use a cell phone because there are different applications, different things that they use. So let's work in the breakout rooms. Nos vamos a los grupos y discutimos estas preguntas lo más breve posible para luego continuar con la última fase de la clase. Yes. Let's go. So in that case, we will um, take the same breaker rooms. Vamos a usar los mismos grupos. Y pues todos atentos a entrar ya a los grupos. I read. I read. The manual. The manual. Yeah. The manual or instruction? Instruction? No. I read. I, I, 
Yes, I I think that the other people that use the the the, the electronic. Uh, uh -huh. uh, uh, I have the question: the other people they use the electronic, uh, the similar or both the 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 uh, the phrase or the phrase for me, my experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because at the two months uh, after, um, and they use the freighter, I, 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 I don't know the use, but the, they have the question on my uncle, uh, what they use, I don't know. Okay. Pregunta a un familiar, ¿verdad? Yeah. Mi... Que, tenga, que tenga ese eso mismo. Ese, ese, una, ese aparato. Sí, ese es el interés. Bueno, no sé. ¿Y de Ode? En mi caso, en mi caso, el de Olla de Presión. I don't know. Teacher. Olla de Presión. ¿Cómo? Pressure cooker. My pressure cooker. Uh, pressure cooker. Yeah. Uh -huh. Pressure cooker. Sí. Uh -huh. Me dio miedo. I, I scare. I scare. Y la terminé regalando. I out uh, of a group can you okay how do you eat a look Ah. Yes, yes. San Google. Yes. In my case, in, uh -huh. in my case, uh, read inst instruction for <laughs> for figure. <laughs> And you, Oscar? No, no use electronic. I think the I read the information in in internet. Para resolver cómo se dice para para for resolve. For the soul, soul. The, Do you have the, device, the question? The, the electronic device. Okay. Right. The other question. How, How many, many advanced can you, can you think all wind the cellular phone? What is it all wind? Ah, uh, poseer. Mm, poseer. Mm. Okay. How many advanced? Puedes tú pensar que tienes que tener un celular. Ok, uh, in my case, I, I have the problem de the, the shen de myself, myself because if the myself in the moment is Apple, I know it can use the other uh, aplicaciones, no, the say aplicación. Uh, Apps. Apps, aplicaciones. Apps or application. Apps the application. Yes. Application. Um, application, yes. In my case, the my the for one. In the other? Uh, I am using. 
Eh, after, after the application, eh, face, Facebook, eh, Messenger, eh, and um, other, other, other thing. Okay, students, we are about to finish and uh, we'll still, I need your help to complete the, the last one, the last part of this activity. It's very simple. So the, 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 the things that I need is to, to help me with that one. Uh, turn the volume down. That will be, that will be great. One of them, the number one take, which one can we use? Help me with that, please. All take my photo. Oh. Take. take my photo. My photo. My photo. My photo. Mm, let me see. No. Um, I don't know. We can change. We can we can make changes. I don't know. We, we can check that one. Um, hold. Oh. What is the mini hold, teacher? I don't know. It's to get something like hold, sostener. Ah. Post. Uh, Post what? Hold Door open. Uh, the door open. Yes. Uh, which uh, this letter. Hold? This letter. This letter. A. Letter A. Uh, letter hold. A. Hold the door. Letter open. A at the door open. Uh, uh, also, it might be. Also, it might be hold my photo. Mm -hmm. Give. Give me. Right. Give me a lift. Okay. Give, give, give me a lift. lift. And pause. Post this, uh, this letter. Post okay. this letter. Okay. On my photo. Of course, we can we can use that. We have some other choices for that one. Okay, guys. Uh, congratulations for the work done. I really appreciate your time. It was very valuable. You know, the times actually go so fast because we just like have one hour and sixty minutes. So there are many things that we had to study, but I'm pretty sure that we will continue working with that one. Don't forget to complete the exercises of the section one and two for this week. And we will see you until the next Monday, okay? So tomorrow okay. it's a day off for you. Okay. And we will see you until Monday. Don't forget to practice English and do what you had to do. Do the best, okay? okay. Thank you. Have a beautiful night. Thank you, Monday. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Bye, everybody. Bye, bye. Bye. I'll see you.